On today's video, I will be showing you how to compression test your engine, and I will be doing it on a GM 350 small block Chevy. It's pretty forward, pretty straight, and you works on pretty much any engine, but we're going to be doing it today on a GM. You can pick up your compression tester from AutoZone, Advance Auto, places like that, even eBay. This is actual a good quality one. We done got a fit on here. They simple and uh, easy to use. So the first thing you want to do is come over here, take off your number one plug, uh, just like so, and take your plug out. Once you get that done, you need to undo your hot on your distributor, or you pull your ignition fuse. You need the car to crank over, but you don't want it to start. Now, once you get that, you can pretty well install your fitting into your spot plug hole. So, let's go ahead and unsnap it. Once you get that unsnapped, you can go ahead and insert this. Make sure you got the O-ring on it. Insert it into your spot plug hole. And it just twists this. Just twist it in there. Once you get that tight, you can snug it up just a little. Lay your gauge out of the way. Or have somebody help crank your truck over. My truck is actually a standard shift. So I will have to take it out of gear and scotch it. Before I can do that. And also I don't have a helper. So. Let's go ahead and go to the old C30. Now insert the key. That's not the actual key for this truck. Which one is it? So many GM vehicles. I think it's this one. It is. Now, since we're out of gear, I can crank this over, and the distributor is unhooked. So you want to crank it about three rotations. You should be able to tell. One, two, three. Stop. Let's check a compression. As I suspected, my motor is about wore out in this truck. That is not good. That's pretty much 60. I'm a 60 PSI, not good at all. So I'm gonna crank it three more times and uh, double check it. Let's go ahead and bleed that off. Set that up out of the way. And about the same. Well, hell. I'll be putting a motor in this soon, I bet. I'm gonna check the other cylinders though. Just in case and see what we got. So we did the other cylinder, as you can see, it's about exactly the same. I'm going to do the other ones, and then I'll let you know the results once I get these all checked. So stay tuned, I guess. I think it's a cylinder 5. And uh, as you can see, we almost got 30 pounds of PSI pressure, big horsepower, and my motor's pretty much wore out. Yeah, that's what I'm suspecting. I got a dead miss, and uh, one of these cylinders are giving it off. Probably this and that 30 PSI. But, uh, we'll see. So far, we ain't even been in the hundreds on three cylinders. So, guys, that's pretty much how you'll check your uh, compression on your cylinders. I got some of these as 30. Now, it probably explains a lot on my miss it i don't know know if you can tell but this motor is running okay but it ain't running where it should it sounds like it's running okay once it builds up enough rpm it smooths right out does good just that initial rpm just got a lot of shudder to it I guess that's what you could say. But it's actually weak on compression. Motor's just wore out. It is in a C30. My tow truck. It's just uh, time for a replacement, I guess. I guess you guys could see a build video or LS swap or something in it. I don't got my AC box and everything to put this truck over AC. I do be doing that in upcoming videos. 
So if you found this video helpful, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it if you do. I try to do as many how-to videos as I can to help you guys out. And uh, I just hope you enjoy the channel. Show your support. Smash subscribe. Drop a comment. See you next time.